Hey guys, so I just finished making my Tomo Santo bars and they're officially dry and they have my loofah in the back. So let's um, take them out of the molds together. That was the tree. This one's the sun with the loofah in the back. If you're new here, I grow my own loofah sponges and decided to put them in soak to get that extra exfoliation so that's what I've been doing I started my business maybe three weeks ago so I'm finally approved on TikTok shop so that's super exciting this one's a little flower so I'm experimenting with like two-toned soap colors so this one I did purple and white this one's a butterfly this one's really pretty Lufa in the back and um I really like how they turned out. I thought it was really cool. I saw this technique, so I wanted to try it. So these are all my um, rectangle molds. And I also got these really, really cute fun molds here, which are like butterflies and dragonflies and little bugs. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love that. So, Palo Santo is really good for, like, sinus things or just for relaxation. It's kind of like um, the Swiss Army knife of oils. Like, it's something you definitely want to keep if you're a central oil kind of person like me. This is the dragonfly. So, I love the way that smells. It smells so good. So, I decided to make that one of my scents in my collection because... Why not? This is a little ladybug. So cute and fun. And another butterfly. That one's really pretty. Like I said, the two-tone ones, um, they all don't come out the same because I pour them different. So I kind of like the diversity of that for sure. And that's the last one. They're so cute. I want to show y'all. So this is what they look like. I think they turned out so cute, so fun. Check them out in my TikTok shop.